Hi guys, welcome back to this lecture. Today we'll talk about how to deploy your SF ISKZ uh, gateway, okay, on using our cluster. What we will do, we will use our uh, two nodes, okay, that we, where we have to deploy over the demon, the ISKZ gateway demons, okay, and after that we will configure them. So it will be the first step, first step to deploy the demon and second step of configure the demon in order to configure the, the target. Okay, so let's go ahead. So for the first, uh, you will use of you will use of another node that here, which which is already in the cluster, okay. Okay, so we have uh, these nodes, this no RGW or which are already within the, the cluster. So we will, you we will have just to use them, them and to deploy your, the deep mono within them, okay. So let's go ahead. But before do that. You we create a special a, a pool a dedicated pool for our lab. Okay, so we we'll use uh, we create a new a new pool called SKZ pool, and we will use this pool for our lab simply. Okay, and the next step will be to to deploy the daemon the SKZ daemon uh, into those nodes. Okay, okay. So to now to deploy the the, host, the different uh, daemon on within the, the node, we will use this command. Okay, which is. Uh, Self orchestrator apply SKZ and I will target the pool, the pool name, and followed by the different credential for the RGW SKZ gadget blue management that we, ha we have to use, and followed by the, the, ho the host where we intend to deploy those components, okay, or those daemon. Great, the schedule has been or is ongoing. And uh, let's say self orchestrator and the list of the different uh, services. Okay, so let's see what happened. Oh, yeah, we have to, the services has been uh, deployed successfully. Okay, and uh, the next step that we have to do is uh, to be, we have to look at here, we have this port. Okay, we have to be sure that we, by default, uh, by after deploying this uh, service, this port will be opened by the, by the firewall. Okay, but uh, the firewall will be updated. Okay, in order to allow this port. But if you don't, but if you you are you're not, you are not very sure, but before do that, let me also show, before go on the, Firewall path here. How you can check the demons, okay? See if uh, the, those demons are deployed or, or not. But it, it is uh, it hasn't been deployed because as the services are uh, the service here is deployed, that means that uh, at the back end side, uh, the demon has been not successfully uh, deployed, okay? Good. So, regarding the firewall, let's go back on the firewall path, okay? Concerning the firewall, we have to be sure that uh, the buff port has been successfully opened on the on the buff node, okay? So, we have to be aware about this one, okay? I will do that on the client to to also just uh, it's have it has been already done by during the deployment but uh, you can double check it and uh, just to be sure because if you don't uh, the client will not able to will be able to reach this port for instance and it is a critical port it is a critical port for for access to, to the service okay so let's go back here on the first node what we will do now is uh, to start the configuration of a uh, of a target, okay, this target will uh, this target will configure the, the, the block devices that should be exported should be should be ready for any client who intend to have a block device a block device over the the network, okay. So let's do that. The first step is uh, to locate as the Cepheid demo perform the deployment through a containerizer component. We have to locate the the container that has been a deployer in uh, this node. Okay, to do that, Podman PS, we have uh, those uh, containers that are within this node, and uh, you, the node that the, the container that, con that interest has is this one. This the, the container that container SKZ. Okay, and uh, the TCM. Okay, so you have to go within this co the container. This container, we command uh, Podman. If you deploy the, the your infrastructure with Docker uh, CLI, uh, Docker. Container engine, we have to use Docker, but here I use I use a Podman for the for the, as my container engine. So I I will hit the command out Podman. Okay, as a execution. Uh, it same things, but anyway, and uh, let's go within it it. So now I'm within the container. I can list all the status, the actual uh, configuration of our uh, gateway. Okay, by the command uh, gateway CLI ls. Okay, so here is the, the, the configuration and the, how the, my uh, infrastructure appears regarding the gateway side. Okay, so next step, I will go within, I will configure now the target here. So to go to configure it, I have to hit the command gateway CLI. 
to go on the CLI mode and I'll go within this folder. Okay, so from there, I will create a new uh, target. Okay, and uh, I will start up the configurations. Okay, so I will create this, this new ta ta target and uh, the name of will be, I will, I will choose this name. Okay. Uh, let me create it. And after create it, I will call it will be a, a, a kind of folder and I, call, I have to go within it. Okay, and I can list, I can print the status here right now. So now I will have, I will have to go to gateways, and in order to be able to configure the gateways that I have right now with my cluster, I have two gateways. So I have, have in new folder, I will be able to configure the gateways now. So let's go within it. Okay, and to create them, it's the same, same command again. Uh, create and followed by the host name, and the, after the host name, the, the IP address. Simply, okay. So let's do that. Okay, so create the host tip and the IP address. Okay. You have to do the same things for the, for the second one, for the second host. Okay, so after that done, we can go back on the disk size site and uh, we have to create our, our, our new image. Okay. And uh, this new major will be created and uh, on the cluster side because we have, we have remember we have created a, a pool, I said a pool, dedicated pool, pool, and within this pool we create a new image and it will be this image that will be exported uh, to any client or who intend to have a block device. Okay. So I will create a new uh, uh, a new uh, iSCSI disk or image simply new a new block device on my on the set on the at the backend story side. I will create a new image. Right now, I will call it. Uh, I will call it disk one. Simply, and the size will be a uh, four gig. Okay. And after done that, um, I can see I'm pretty ready. That I have to finish. I have now to configure the authentication or the authentication for the, my uh, client. Let me just print the topology again. As here you can see the evolutions. Okay. Now I have a configure the two nodes, the two gateways, okay, as you can see there, the configuration has been automatically replicated on the second node, okay, or on the second gateway, so you don't have to uh, do any action again, okay. Great, so let's now finish up the configuration. To finish up the configuration, we'll go again within the target and uh, configure the different host, okay. So I will go within the target, okay, and from target I will jump up in this, in this folder. Okay, and after that, I will configure the, the host. Okay, let's go ahead. Okay, now I will create now the different uh, the client identification information that uh, will be required for any client or any initiator to have access to this block device. Simply. And as a uh, this one that has been created, I have to create the confirm the, the credential, username, and the username and uh, the password for this client who, for the credential for the future clients. And now, as this one has been done successfully, I have the next step will be to create uh, the, the disk to add the disk, uh, not create to add the disk that has been created uh, before within my uh, I can say my pool simply. Okay, so I will have the disk into this host, okay, because in order to let this host to be the owner of this, of this image, okay. Great. Now everything is okay, I hope. I can print again. As you can see, the, it will look like a, a, learn, a new learn that has been created now because we had the, this, this action just create a finalize the creation of a learn within this iSCSI node. Okay, so the information has been synchronized. To be sure that uh, this one has been done, I can go on the second. I can go on the second uh, on the second node. Okay, and uh, check perform the, the verification. Okay, so let me jump into the container side and. Uh, Okay, so now I get to a CLI. Okay, great. So as you can see, the, the configuration has been synchronized and everything is okay now. Everything is okay. There is no issue during this configuration uh, 
uh, period. So now we can move forward to the next part where we have to create, create, configure the client uh, side that will be able to access uh, to this uh, block device. Okay, and I will configure it over the multipath. This multipath permits any client uh, to, if the get one is failed, the second gateway will take the hand. Okay, so thank you very much and see you for the next video. Bye from now.